Good morning, my beauties. It's your eating priestess, Lisa, here today with your Wellness Wednesday tip. Have you ever felt depleted? Like, you know, we as parents, spouses, children, friends, can be pulled in so many directions, and sometimes at the same time, that you pour so much of yourself out that you don't have anything left for yourself. Well, today, Wellness Wednesday, we're gonna talk about how to recharge and stay charged. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first exercise I want you to do with me, guys, is stop what you're doing, be still. Put your feet, plant your feet on the floor. Hopefully they're already there. If you're sitting down, place your hands on your lap. And I just want you to catch your breath. And when I mean tune into it, you're inhaling and you're exhaling. Once you've done that, notice how your shoulders are tense. Let them go. Release. Isn't that weird? Like we are so tense and on edge so many times that now it's the subconscious. We're just tense, we're uptight. So whenever you can throughout the day, just stop, be still, tune into your breath, and then tune into those body parts that are tense. Sometimes it can be your hands are cl clutched or most times it's your shoulders. But pay attention and then release. And then once you release, we're gonna breathe. Next step is once you have identified the tense places, you want to breathe. And we wanna bring oxygen to them because they've been clutched and closed for we don't know how long. So we wanna bring some healing to that area. So what you wanna do is do three inhales and exhales, deep as you can. So you wanna inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Just like that. And when you inhale, your stomach should expand. And when you exhale, your stomach should, you know, collapse. You want to do three of those or as many as you need just to bring life and oxygen and positivity to those areas that were so tensed before. Okay? Next, we want to do grounding. Okay, so grounding really is just connecting to the earth connecting to where we came from if you can if you have a clean yard uh or if you go to the park just make sure your area is clean take your shoes off and just allow your feet to touch the earth and just stand there you can literally if you pay attention you can literally feel yourself connecting back to the earth and you can feel the earth's energy literally recharging you I noticed this when I went to Jamaica for the first time. And when I went to the beach, of course, that's the first thing I did. And I literally felt like someone took, you know how you buy a new lamp and you plug the lamp in the electric socket and boom, all this juice. That's exactly how I felt. I felt like I was connected back connected back to the moment, connected back to earth, just connected back in this present. Because we have so many things that distract us. Like I said previous, you know, you have your children pulling you, your spouse pulling you, friends pulling you, your work, then you're trying to do your thing and it can become overwhelming. And a lot of times when we don't recharge, regroup, we kind of clunk out. Just think about your car. If you never put gas in your car or get an oil change, that car's not going to last very long. Well, first of all, if you don't put no gas in it, it's not going anywhere. So we're going to stick with the gas part. So yes, we have to ground. We have to get reconnected. We have to get in the present moment. And then we regroup and we start all over again. Another way to stay charged or get recharged is by simply saying no. Sometimes you will have everything planned out. You may have a day of relaxation or you may have a day of running errands and someone may call you with an issue or whatever or just want to shoot the breeze or, you know, they want to gossip. Uh, no, not today. I learned it from a good friend of mine. And 
I'm learning that it's the hardest thing for me to do because I just love being there for people and I love helping and supporting. But sometimes I can't give you my best if I'm not at my best. So I'm learning to say no, and it's okay. They'll still be your friend. If they were your friend anyway, they're not gonna drop you just because you said that. So learn to say no and stay away from the negativity. Like at my job, I like, I'm looking, I'm actually gonna make myself a poster that says positive vibes only. I don't need the negativity. We have so much negativity in the world. We don't need any added, you know what I mean? So just say no and it's okay. Another way to stay grounded, another way to stay charged and recharged is aromatherapy. Um, you know, that's the big thing. I mean, it's been out, but I think people are kind of catching on to it and seeing it's just more to it than what they thought. My favorite is lavender. Like, I have a very stressful job. I have a job where people are constantly, I'm in demand. You know, they're calling me, they're asking, I'm pouring out. And sometimes it can become overwhelming. Sometimes they're anxious and they're fussing at you. They're frustrated because they're sick and I get it. I don't take it personal. But just constantly pouring out, pouring out, listening to, you know, their issues on top of your own. You need to be able to stay even killed. I've learned lavender works for me. And you may find one that works for you, but lavender is my go-to. Like, I have a diffuser that one of my lovely co-workers gave me, which is so awesome. Thank you, Nakia. Um, it's a lavender. It's a diffuser. So, I keep it on my desk, along with my Himalaya salt rock. And the vibe is just totally different in my cubicle. Some people just come and just stand, and they'll sit, and they'll empty out. But when they leave, they feel much better. So that's another way to do it, to keep yourself charged and recharged. Aromatherapy. So go through your different, oh, it's so many. Lavender is my one. It keeps me even kill. It keeps me focused. It keeps me level-headed because I can be a hothead. So if you're like me, keep lavender on deck. So guys, Thank you so much for being attentive. Please like our video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Back to Eating. I hope this was helpful. Um, please make sure that you share with a friend and help someone to recharge and stay charged. I love you guys. Until next time, bye.